Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sochi Nandan Dotto and in this video lecture, I'll talk about uh, the marine ecosystem. So at first we will see the structure of the ocean. If we look at the structure of the ocean, it is divided into two parts, basically the pelagic province and the benthic province. So pelagic zone is also divided into two parts, that is the neuritic zone and the oceanic zone. So neuritic zone, it is the nearer the coast and oceanic zone, it is the area of the coast. And according to depth, if we look at the pelagic zone, it is divided into different subzones. These are the uh, epipelagic. So epipelagic is the upper uh, top surface of the ocean, that is the zero, uh, zero to 200 meter depth, and then the 200 to 1000 meter depth, that is the mesopelagic zone. Then the bethelpelagic, that is the uh, 1000 to 2000 meter depth, and then 2000 to 6000 meter depth, that is the uh, abyssal pelagic, and the hedopelagic, that is the beyond 6000 meter depth. That that uh, region is called the Hedal Plagic. And if you look at the Benthic province, the Benthic province is also divided into different subregions according to depth. First is the littoral and sublittoral. These two zones basically present a continental um, self region. And after that, in the slope, that is the continental slope region, you can find the Bethel Benthic. This is basically uh, beyond uh, 200 to 2000 meter depth, and the Abyssal Benthic, that is uh, the 2000 to 6000 meter depth. And beyond this, this Benthal zone is called uh, the Hedo benthic and this is beyond the 6000 meter depth and according to light penetration if you look at the ocean surface that is also divided into three zones that uh, these are the uh, first uh, the photic zone so upper 200 meter depth uh, where uh, the light penetrates sunlight penetrates and this is the most productive zone also of the ocean so this zone is called the photic zone then uh, the 200 to 2000 meter depth this is basically the very dim light or very low light is reaching to this region that is called the dysphotic zone and beyond the 2000 meter depth where the, there is no light so absence of light that is the uh, aphotic zone a means absent so this is the basically the structure of the ocean and if we look at the different uh, categories of the marine ecosystem then uh, you find that, that the coastal uh, coastal means uh, near the coast so this the coastal ecosystem it's basically divided into different uh, ecosystem these are the estuarine ecosystem estuaries means the where the river meet uh, the ocean and uh, the salt marshes and the mangrove so mangrove is a very unique habitat and uh, the a special type of plant uh, is developed in uh, the transition zone where the river meet to the ocean so salt and special type of plant that forest is called mangrove forest then you find the rocky shore uh, and the sandy shore of uh, the coastal ecosystem then the coral reef ecosystem and it is one of the most productive ecosystem in the planet earth and, and other ecosystem like the mangrove uh, estuary these are also very productive ecosystem seagrass ecosystem you will find the seagrass is also a productive ecosystem but ocean ecosystem that is open ocean that is one of the less productive ecosystem on the planet earth and also the on, on the ocean the less productive system is the open ocean so uh, we'll see the rocky shore. A rocky shore is the one of the most uh, uh, also a dynamic system. And here, uh, when the rock uh, shore is reaches uh, to the ocean mid the rocky zone, that the rocky shore is built. And uh, there is a high tide, low tide, uh, very dynamic and the very uh, diverse uh, life you can find in the rocky shore. And uh, this is also very uh, dynamic because uh, always the tide is playing. And so life on the rocky shore is also changing according uh, to tidal uh, cycle and in the high tide zone you will find a different uh, organism in the low tide zone there uh, will be different uh, organism so basically in the rocky zone you will uh, main productive or uh, main primary producer of the rocky shore is uh, the sea lettuce or the kelp or the algae so the algae are attached to the uh, stone or the rocky shore and um, they are basically uh, found in uh, the low tide or um, zone where always the water will be there and then you can find in the upper a little high level uh, you can find uh, the hermit crab the sore crabs and you can find the sister in the bottom of uh, this uh, rocky shore then you will find uh, the lots of the flat worm you will find barnacles and mussels so barnacles is a very dominant in the rocky shore region then the mussels you will find you will find the burying kelp and uh, these are uh, basically sea urchin you will find the below um, the water in the water so these are the basically a rocky shore organism you know, that are the available in uh, the ocean rocky shore region.
and if you see a sandipage ecosystem sandipage ecosystem is also very dynamic and most uh, stable because here the very high uh, tide energy tide is coming but it has disappeared it is uh, disappeared in the sandy shore so it's absorbed all the energy of the tide so or the all the energy of the waves so that is a very stable ecosystem but uh, biologically it is a one of the diverse ecosystem and uh, this region is you can find most of them are uh, highly uh, adaptive uh, to the burrowing system so highest high tide uh, highest high tide to the lowest low tide that region is basically called uh, the beach in this uh, in this uh, uh, region you can find uh, the during the high tide a different organism and the, during the low tide a different organism the most common organisms are are the crabs uh, the blue crabs are different uh, crabs are there then you can find the dollars and dollar the moon snail and uh, the marcoma and shrimp and ghost shrimp and the mole shrimp so these all are basically burrowing in habitat and the calm you can find you can find uh, during the high tide different organism and the low tide different organism and sand viper is also a, a top uh, predator of this uh, sandy beach shore and beyond uh, this high tide zone you can find on the sandy shore or sand dunes you can find the beetles and the flea so this all about uh, the sandy uh, beach ecosystem and the associated life then uh, we'll look, uh, look at uh, the coral reef ecosystem one of the most productive most beautiful and most diverse ecosystem on the planet are uh, that is the coral reef ecosystem and coral reef ecosystem basically it is one kind of symbiosis uh, between uh, the algae so the symbiotic algae and uh, that is called the jujanthil algae so jujanthil algae, algae symbiotic with the nutrient group of organism and forming the coral reef and in the coral reef uh, mainly uh, the producer are uh, the phytoplankton and the different algae and uh, symbiotic algae also they they all are the producer of the coral reef ecosystem and they are eaten uh, by the geoplankton and uh, like different uh, geoplankton varieties and this geoplankton eaten by the different small fish and uh, you can find uh, this geoplankton phytoplankton also eaten by the blister star and other small fish and uh, turtle is also eaten by the different uh, uh, sea algae or uh, the sea grasses and jellyfish and after that uh, so the small fish also eaten by the top predator top predator in the uh, coral reef ecosystem is the sulk and the uh, morel is also a top predator in the system and after uh, this uh, of the, of the all the organism it uh, reaches uh, to the bottom and it uh, have a decompose uh, system uh, due to the presence of the bacteria so uh, it has the producer to primary consumer secondary consumer to the tertiary consumer top predator and uh, also the decompose and uh, so with the coral reef is uh, have a polyp uh, that is the nutrient group uh, polyp and medusa and polyp they are very soft body calcium carbonate bodies and they are associated with uh, jujanthila algae and this algae are uh, gives the beautiful coloration of uh, the coral reef ecosystem and this coral reef is basically built in a uh, in a very crystal clear water and shallow depth of the ocean and because it's a uh, sunlight is a very essential for the growth of the coral reef growth of this algae so uh, when uh, in turbid water coral reef is not uh, grow well so crystal clear water color uh, will be forming by this particular algae and uh, availability of food is there very diverse ecosystem and oxygen is also very high in this coral reef ecosystem next if we look at the uh, in different zonation we have uh, seen the structure of the ocean now in this uh, different zonation we see the life on the ocean so in the uh, littoral subliteral zone you can find uh, the uh, you can find the different uh, producer that's the sea algae then uh, the sea grass and uh, different algae and grasses and phytoplankton and uh, these grasses and the algae are eaten uh, by uh, the uh, turtles and turtle eaten uh, turtle basically eat the uh, also along with uh, the seagrass they are eaten uh, this uh, 
jellyfish then you can find the seahorse and if you this is basically the neuritic zone and in in the pelagic zone if you see uh, then the, in different depth wise a uh, different organism are here in the top region or the uh, beyond uh, this uh, epipelagic zone you can find uh, this phytoplankton zooplankton and they are you can find the world largest uh, animal of the planet Earth, that is the whale blue whale and you can find the flying fish ectopus and tunas are little uh, 100 meter depth uh, tuna will be fine and in the epipelagic and the mesopelagic zone you can find the shark and beyond uh, this 200 meter depth uh, 200 to 2000 meter depth you can find the squid cattle fish you can find a lot of uh, prawn crab uh, this are the organism you can find and beyond this is basically also too light uh, or uh, the dyspodic zone and the top portion is the photic zone up to 200 meter that photosynthesis happen in this uh, top 200 meter and uh, beyond this 2000 meter that is basically darkness or the no light is there that is the aphotic zone and that is one of the most uh, most uh, unknown ecosystem to us till now there is lots of the organism are there we don't know so regularly new organism are discovered from the deep of the ocean there is a uh, and there is a huge uh, adaptation to the into the deep of the ocean so deep sea ecosystem is uh, totally different so they have uh, adaptive to the bioillumination because there is no light they are vigorous predator and uh, they our shape is uh, totally different because the high pressure of the water most of the flattened body so these are the different uh, organism according to different zone of uh, the ocean now you can uh, see the marine food web. so marine food web one of the most uh, very uh, complex food web and it is also very uh, strong uh, relationship among all the groups so basically producer in the marine system is the phytoplankton and algae and this phytoplankton eaten by the different uh, zooplankton uh, like micro zooplankton meso zooplankton and micro zooplankton meso zooplankton basically eaten by the myconecton and uh, plankton and necton this differences is uh, the plankton they can't swim and necton means they are swim they can swim so then the then the myconecton uh, micro zooplankton they are also eaten by the small fish small fish eaten by the medium fish medium fish eaten by the top predator of the system so these are the sark is the top predator of the ocean system then the tuna and the blue marlin so these are the basically top predator of the marine ecosystem and there is also the microbial loop in the or you know, bottom of the ocean you can find all the depth of the uh, uh, any organism into the deep uh, sea or the bottom of the sea there will be a microbial uh, loop so uh, due to this microbial loop the energy returned to the uh, ecosystem so via the bacteria and if you look at uh, the ocean system so ocean is also harvested uh, the, for the fisheries system and uh, so there is a different kind of fish so small fish medium fish large fish they are harvested uh, through the boats and they are also interconnected through their pair predator interaction small fish it in the medium fish medium fish it in by the large fish uh, and uh, their small fish and medium fish they are uh, eaten uh, their their prey is basically uh, their predator their prey on the uh, uh, phytoplankton and zooplankton and uh, this whole system is dominated over uh, the sun so sun is the main source of the energy then it comes to the phytoplankton then comes to the zooplankton and the different fish level and different tropic level and then it, it is also harvested so this is the complete synapsot of uh, the whole uh, marine ecosystem now uh, if we look at uh, the services uh, that provided the marine ecosystem and there is a lots lots of services that provided by the marine ecosystem we cannot fit in a, a slide so we divide it into two part one is the ecological services and one is the economic services ecological services the world climate is basically controlled by the global ocean like the elino lalina these are the events that are the global climate changer and the co2 absorber so world ocean is uh, absorb a lot of the ton tons of the co2 that is the main source sink of the co2 and uh, nutrient cycling cycling any type of nutrient phosphorus nitrogen cycle carbon cycle so all the nutrient is cycling or uh, is mainly in the ocean is uh, play a major role in the cycling of the nutrient then the waste treatment whatever the, so basically we are using the marine uh, or the ocean as a dustbin whatever is there we are dumping in the marine system and so waste uh, 
treatment and dilution anything we are putting in the ocean and the it uh, that ocean uh, different uh, the coastal ecosystem like the mangrove like uh, the storm it, it basically protect us as, as a different storm surges so during the uh, storm surges so it's coming the high wave high wind and that is protected by the mangrove ecosystem so if there is the mangrove so then uh, this is protected our uh, cities and uh, this as the habitat of the different uh, organism so different organism are the nesting or breeding ground is uh, the coastal and marine ecosystem and uh, genetic uh, or biological diversity is a diverse diverse ecosystem so till now there is a a lot of the species are not discovered from the ocean okay at least 90 percent is not discovered till now only and uh, lots of scientific information we are getting from uh, the uh, ocean ecosystem and if we look at the economic services it's it's it's, it's a huge economic services basically we are we are natural uh, resources basically are depleting in the terrestrial ecosystem so next we have to depend all the resources for the ocean like food to water everything we are taking from the ocean so food every body is uh, totally for the need of the total basic protein as coming from the ocean that is the fish and uh, different food seafood is also taking as a very favorite nowadays and uh, animal feed is also taking uh, from the ocean pharmaceutical industry a big industry that all the raw material from uh, from the pharmaceutical industry are coming from the ocean ecosystem then the transportation harbor ports and harbors it's a huge role a play a big role in our economy then recreation tourism is it is also very earning a lot of money from the recreation tourism um, from the marine ecosystem then employment lots of people are depend on uh, the role that are playing on the marine ecosystem it may be a fisherman maybe a um, uh, ship owner or maybe any any person that are totally dependent on the employment for the marine and the uh, offshore oil and natural gas this uh, it's a, a huge storage of the natural gas uh, ocean so we are extracting this natural gas and oil from the ocean the minerals poly poly uh, manganese nodules so for the many kind of minerals it can be a fee it can be manganese it can be uh, so everything is extracted from the ocean and the, all the building materials so there is lots and lots of the uh, services uh, provided by the marine ecosystem so it's an one of the most uh, important ecosystem nowadays to us now here are, I give a table that are gives you more details of, of the services that are provided by the marine ecosystem. You can check all those I have already discussed, but you have checked for your uh, references. Now uh, I have talked about this pharmaceutical industry. So all kind of uh, medicine, it can be anti-inflammatory, antibiotic, it can be antiviral, anti-tumor, anti-cancer. So this all kind of medicine, raw material of this medicine are basically coming from the marine ecosystem. So marine life gives us a, a life uh, by producing this the pharmaceutical drugs. And but uh, uh, marine ecosystem provided at lots of services, but there is a huge threat uh, to the marine ecosystem. So it's it's mainly uh, it can be divided natural and anthropogenic, but mainly anthropogenic threats are much more dominating than the natural threats. So over exploitation of the coastal and marine resources that is the main threat nowadays in the marine ecosystem. By catch, so we want to catch a particular species, but along with the species lots of bycatch and this is the loss of biodiversity and environmental degradation is due to this over exploitation of this and the habitat degradation and uh, the fragmentation of the habitat lots of the things are there so nowadays we uh, are hampering the marine ecosystem and pollution oil spill that is a very big problem in the marine system and uh, the alternate coastal uh, investment and then the coastal erosion coastal erosion so oh, a erosion is a very 
prominence so beach uh, lands are degraded uh, due to the coastal erosion sea level is rising temperature is rising sea level are rising and coastal er our ecosystem are eroding ocean acidification so um, ocean much more acidic due to the absorbing of the co2 much more co2 absorbing and it makes acidity and that acidic environment is also very harmful for the marine life especially the coral reef ecosystem is very harmful to this uh, this ocean acid because and that is also a big problem for the global climate change and livelihood program lots of life due to this lots of livelihood program it's also hampering and the marine culture so open sea culture that is also hampering the natural system of the ocean ecosystem tourism also hampering and the governance so bad governments and bad management bad policy is also hampering the marine ecosystem now uh, if we look at this uh, particular slide here you can see uh, there's a small video that is, gives you that the zero degree uh, latitude means this zero degree latitude you can see so that is uh, the where the uh, tropical region the sunlight is uh, very dominant in this zero degree latitude so this is the uh, zero degree latitude this is the india this is uh, you know, southeast asia this is australia and here is the oman okay so uh, from uh, in this video you can see the the pieces shift okay so due to increasing temperature in the zero degree latitude so all the species are try to shift both the site in search of the suitable or the cooler environment okay so due to the global warming the ocean surface uh, temperature or ssd is increasing and the tropic region basically in this uh, zero degree latitude uh, the sun heat is much more so the species are shifting towards uh, the north pole or south pole in search of a suitable environment and suitable temperature so that is a main uh, problem nowadays so the species shift due to the ocean warming so that is all uh, about the marine ecosystem thank you uh, and if you have any question just comment me okay thank you